Hi, this is Adam from ProCAD. So, I'm just going to go through uh, assigning a license in your Autodesk accounts, uh, particularly for those users who will have recently moved from a uh, network license to uh, single user standalone licenses, as Autodesk are doing away with the network licensing model at the moment. So, um, you may have moved over to a sign in or standalone user. So you might be familiar with this page already. This is just the first page you get to when you log into your Autodesk account. So if you go to accounts.autodesk.com, put in your username and password, you'll get to this page. So if we click on this button here, manage products and downloads, this will take us to this page here. So this is the manage.autodesk.com um, page. So I've traded in some network licenses and now I have some standalone licenses that need to be assigned. Uh, you'll also see a, a tab here for recently purchased products and if you purchased anything very recently that hasn't yet been assigned you'll see it here on the home page also um, over here you're probably familiar with the all products and services tab this is where you go to actually download your products so this is just what's available in my Autodesk account as a contract manager you can see I have a number of seats of certain products so in this case I'm going to go to my user management over here so this is where we're going to assign these seats to users in our office first of all I'll click by user and in here we can add users to our company in our Autodesk account we can use the invite user up here if I select a user and then choose change role up here at the top I can see the roles that are available to users in my Autodesk account so these here are the roles you can have in your account. Uh, I'm logged in as a primary admin who has the rights to um, assign all of my seats to various users in my office. I can add a secondary admin if I want to add another user from my office who will then have permission to assign products, maybe an IT guy or a lead engineer or a manager. Um, and then I have users and they're the users to whom we will be assigning these products. So next I'm going to click on buy product over here and this is where we will go to assign user to assign our new AEC collections to users in our office. Now that I'm in the buy product page, I can see all the uh, standalone licenses I have in my account. So I have a number of LT seats here um, and I can see it's showing me the number of available seats. I also have a number of AEC collections. So. I'm going to click on this AEC collection and once I get in here I can see that I have three seats available, five seats in total and I can see the two users down here that I've assigned my two seats to already. So if I want to assign one more of these seats I can click on assign user and in here I can just enter the user's name or email address. Uh, if I'm just entering the user's name they have to be added in the by user section already as a user to my company but if I haven't added them yet, I can just add them by email address. So finally, I've just opened AutoCAD here, and the intention here is to show off how you would change your license type in each application. So this is something that your users will have to do. Um, their AutoCAD and their Revit and any other Autodesk product they're using will still be looking for the network license, which they have, as, which is set up on your on a server on your network. So to change the licensing model to the standalone model, we go up here to the top and we click on our username and we go to manage license. So if we're signed in here, we sh should get an option to sign in up here if we haven't signed in already. So we just sign in with our Autodesk account. So when I go to manage license, I'll get this window. Another method to get to this window is to use this little help drop down here. And if we go to about Autodesk AutoCAD, and then we go to manage license. Again, we're looking at the same window here. So next I just want to hit change license type. So I'll get a window similar to this. Um, currently I'm using a standalone license already. So all I have the, I have the option to switch user to a different account, enter a serial number of a particular product or use a network license. If I'm using a network license, I'll have the option to switch to a single user account. Now I've just logged into Revit and I just want to show that this is the exact same setup for Revit and basically all Autodesk applications. So up here we have the same option here to switch user. We can go to manage license we can go change license type here. Once again, I've just moved over to Inventor here. And again, it's the very same drop down up here, choose manage license. And again, we can change our license type here.